I was glad when they said unto me, let us go into the house of the Lord. Amen. Are we glad to be in the house one yeah. more time? Yeah. Are we glad to be in the house of the Lord?
God, we're just grateful again to be in the house of worship one more time. Yeah, yeah. Lord, when we come together to give your name, yeah, yeah. the glory, the honor, and the praise that is due yeah, to God. Yeah. Lord, we thank you for bringing us through another week. Yeah. We thank you, Lord God, for watching us over us last night as we stood in the of God. And you touched us with the finger of love. Yeah, yeah. And God, you gave us a nine to get up and get dressed, Lord. <clears throat> But there was some Lord that wanted to come, but couldn't come for whatever reason. God, so we don't take for granted, God. Yeah. Your grace and mercy that you extend to us each yeah. and every day, God. We're so grateful today, God. Just to be able to say thank you, Lord. Lord, we ask you just to lift our hearts up today, God. You've been heavy, God. Spare our minds, God, of uncertainty and doubt, God. Yeah. Let us focus on you on today, God. Yes. Let us give all that we have to yes. this worship and spirit of God. Yes. For we may not have enough, one, God. Yes. And we want to take advantage of this one. Right. We right. ask you just to be with our male force on yes. today, God. Yes. And sing the songs of praise, God. And as always, God, we look forward to hearing from heaven. Yes. Word. God, we just ask you to bless us yes. as you've always done.
complex. The media team will meet today in the conference room immediately after church service. The New Hope Association annual session will begin July 20th through the 21st at Morning Star <coughs> Baptist Church on Fayetteville Road. The session will open at 12 o'clock on the 20th and 12.30 on the 21st. Amen. Amen. Also, we would like to announce that today uh, was the deadline for signing up for the bus trip uh, with the youth on August 13th. Uh, right now, with the sequences we have, we do have bus capacity. So if there's anyone that did not get your name on the list today, uh, we need to know immediately in case adjustments have to be made. The tickets for the trip will be $52.95, but that does include one meal while in the park. Um, and that's for the adults that attend and the youth tickets will be paid for by the money taken up for, by sponsors, so that's agreed to sponsor our youth and the church will pay the difference. Yes, yeah, so we need the monies um, for the adult tickets by the first Sunday in August. Amen. 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 Thank you. Good morning. Good morning. We are delighted to extend a word of welcome and greeting to our guest worshipers sharing with us today. Yeah. Uh, we are always yeah. be delighted and indeed excited uh, when we have guests who uh, grace us with your presence. Amen. It is our hope and prayer that you will enjoy the worship experience uh, so much so that when your schedule permit, uh, you will come and share with us again. And if you're looking for a church home, we invite you to consider casting your lot uh, with us here at uh, the Mount Sinai Missionary Baptist Church. We love to embrace you as a part of our fellowship. We thank all of you for your continuing support and those of you who watch us virtually each week, we thank you for your continuing support. Uh, you may mail contributions to Mount Sinai Missionary Baptist Church, 5222 Mount Sinai Road, uh, Durham, North Carolina, 27704. Also, if you are a Facebook subscriber, you can follow us live. We're live now in our worship services on Facebook. We continue to upload to our YouTube platform uh, each Sunday evening. So however you watch us, whether it's live or whether it is uh, by our Facebook, by our YouTube platform, we are delighted to uh, have you being a part of our virtual audience. I am particularly uh, pleased today to have a, a very special friend uh, sharing with us, uh, Bishop James Daniel, yes, uh, my best A school boo, my tailpoke. Y'all don't know this at Mount Sinai. <laughs> tell y'all like I used to tell folk at Union. If you ever hear that Pastor Hammond has to go into a battle and he can only take one person, y'all right. call Bishop Daniel. All right. All right. Yeah, we, we thank God for him and Sister Daniel sharing with us uh, in worship uh, this morning. Amen. The meal course is going to come back with selection and following that selection, we're going to have the message for the morning. Amen. It's great to be back home. Uh, we saw the worship last week. My wife and I will celebrate one year of marriage. Thank you. Here to sing a classic. I had a chance to meet while we were at the church six and Mr. Harley White was singing. And he turned the reins over to Harley Watkins Jr. And the gang spirits have just been rolling ever since. But there's a classic, because all of us go through things, yeah. situations we can't handle, questions we can't answer. Amen. And all we got to realize is whatever's going on in our lives, we can't fix it, but Jesus can fix it. And all we got to ask is, is fix it with Jesus, like you said you would.
Acts of the Apostles. Yes, sir. Chapter 13. Yeah. Verses 42 through 44. Right. And I want to read from the Weymouth New Testament version. Acts chapter 13, verses 42 through 44. Wherein it reads this way, and I'm sure you'll be able to follow in whatever version you may have. It says, as Paul and Barnabas were leaving the synagogue, the people earnestly begged to have all this repeated to them on the following Sabbath. And when the congregation had broken up, many of the Jews and the devout converts from heathenism continued with Paul and Barnabas who talked to them and urged them to hold fast to the grace of God. And on the next Sabbath, almost the whole population of the city came together to hear the Lord's message. Let, let, let me read uh, verse 42 again. As Paul and Barnabas were leaving the synagogue, the people earnestly begged to have all of this repeated to them on the following <coughs> Sunday. Following Sabbath. Can I read it one more time? As Paul and Barnabas were leaving the synagogue, the people earnestly begged to have all this repeated. Can I tell you what this is? The sermon that they had just preached. Have it all repeated to them. On the following Sabbath. Right. Speak, Lord, Speak, Lord. For your people hear it. Yeah. Amen. Amen. For the time that is ours preaching today, I want to preach from the subject a sermon worth repeating. Yes, a sermon. Worth repeating. All right. <clears throat> I have been in pastoral ministry for a little over 48 years. I know what that looked like. <laughs> Amen. And in those 48 years, I suspect that I have probably preached close to 10,000 sermons. Y'all yes, 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 know I like to keep it real. Yes. Yes. If I'm honest, uh -huh. a whole lot of those sermons yes. weren't yes. worth preaching mm. and shouldn't have been preached in the first place. Mm. Oh, Lord, help us here. Yeah. But, but every now and then as a pastor over the years uh, I have preached a sermon and my email, my boss mail, my text messages blow up yeah. with comments from persons Say to me, Pastor, you need to preach that <laughs> again. You, 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 you just, Pastor, you don't know how uh, that, that, that sermon 
uh, bless me. And I, I, I know that some folk that should have been there to, to have heard it, they were not you need to preach that again. And, 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 and if the truth be told, every now and then when I preach a sermon, not only does it speak to you, but it speaks to me. As a matter of fact, if it hadn't spoken to me before I tried to bring it to you, I'd try to leave it at home. <laughs> but, but every now and then somebody says, you need to preach that one again. Can, can I be honest one more time? Amen. Now, 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 sometimes we preachers, we, we look lazy. And uh, we don't see God's face and study and prepare for the next preaching assignment. We just go to the well and grab something <laughs> that'll get us through. I know y'all don't have preachers like that around Mount Sinai. <laughs> but, but I've done that once or twice. Thrice or four times. <laughs> Ten or twelve. Six <laughs> times. And the reality is that oftentimes uh, when you do that, you got a message that certainly is really not worth repeating. Mm -hmm. but, but, but sometimes uh, God blesses you and you do have a word Amen. that's worth, worth repeating. We, we find this to be the case in the text. Let, let me just set the stage for you. Th this text occurs shortly after the conversion of Saul. In chapter 9, Saul is on his way to Damascus with a letter in hand authorizing him to persecute a group of Christians who were meeting from house to house. But on his way to Damascus, Saul had an encounter with the Lord. Yes. Yes, sir. And that encounter with the Lord turned his life around. Yes. You know the story. Saul surrendered his life to the Lord, was given a new name, and allowed to go to his original destination, but with a new set of marching orders. Yes. I wonder if I preach to anybody who can testify that when you had an encounter with the Lord, it changed your life and gave you a new set of marching orders. Where, 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 where are my seasoned saints? The, the seasoned saints would paraphrase that by saying, places that I used to go. I, I don't go no more. They would say things that I used to do. I, I, I don't do no more. Well, now that I'm one of those seasoned saints, let, 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 can I be honest again? I, I, I discovered that the reason some senior saints don't do what they used to do anymore is because they got too old to do it. <laughs> Look at me like I'm crazy. Just keep rising, getting up, going to bed, and you're going to stop. Amen. There, there's some stuff I, I don't even I don't even want to do anymore. Come on, man. Amen. And, and, and so he had a different set of marching orders. And as we arrive at the text, uh -huh. Paul is on his first missionary journey. Yes. Yes. After having been baptized by Ananias and having uh, preached in and around the masters. Paul sets out to extend the gospel of Jesus Christ to the ends of the earth. Can I pop it long enough to tell you that when the Lord saves you, he doesn't save you to sit down in here, but he saves you to go out and share the gospel to somebody 
that needs to hear a word from the Lord. Yeah. Yeah. Too many of us have gotten comfortable in the church. All right. uh, we, we come in here, get our praise on, go home, and, and we happy to the next time. Amen. But you ought to tell somebody. Yes. Because there are folk outside of the church yes. who need to hear the gospel. Yes. They hear the gospel, right. but they need to hear the gospel. Yes. Right. 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 And, and so Paul Paul is charged uh, with taking the gospel to the overlooked, uh -huh. the uninvited, yes, the unwanted folk, uh -huh. namely the Gentile. Yes. Yes. This first missionary journey, Paul, would take him more than a thousand miles, beginning in Antioch in Syria, uh, where the believers were first called Christians. And at the time of the text, Paul, along with Barnabas, who had joined him, are in Poseidon, Antioch, where Paul preaches his first sermon as a missionary. The text says that on the Sabbath, Paul and Barnabas went into the synagogue and sat down. After reading the law and the prophets, the elders in the synagogue said to them, do you have a word of exaltation yes, sir. that you can give to the people? Yes, sir. And it was at that point that Paul stood up yes, sir. to preach. Amen. This, 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 this message that Paul preaches is the only full-length sermon of Paul Recorded in the Bible. Mm -hmm. and, and, and like a good Baptist preacher, <laughs> Paul had done his homiletical homework. All right. All right. Yes, sir. He had a nice three point sermon. Uh -huh. All right. Come on now. Y'all right. yeah, know you, you come looking for three points. <laughs> Somebody said when you go to the black preach, the black church, the preacher needs three points, a poem, and a hoop, and he's good. <laughs> he, 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 he had his good three-point sermon. Uh -huh. yes. First point in his sermon, Paul recounted the history of Israel. Yes. Uh, in, in so doing, he was reminding the Jews of what the Lord had already yes, done for me. Yes, uh, can, can, can I just park here long enough to say that every now and then we need to be reminded yes, of what the Lord has already yes, done for us. Yes, and every now and then when we recall what the Lord has already done for us, it ought to give us a testimony that says, if he doesn't do anything else, he's already doing more than enough. Paul begins to remind them, the Jews, of what the Lord had already done for them. Can I, can I just summarize? Yes, sir. He said it was God. Yes. That sent a deliverer mm -hmm. yes, in Moses. Yes. Yes, sir. It, it was God yes. that opened the Red Sea yes. and gave you passage on dry land. Yes. It was God yes. that led you with a pillar of cloud by day yes. and a pillar of fire by night. Yes. It was what? It was God yes. that gave you water from yes. a rock. Yes. And sent manna from on high when your food ran out. Yes. It was God who protected you when you were wandering in the wilderness. It was God who defeated seven different enemies and gave you their land, gave you their property, gave you their home. It was God yeah. 
Yes, sir. Yes, sir. They gave you judges. Yes, sir. To try to keep you in order. Amen. It was God after you uh, raised such a ruckus mm -hmm. that gave you king. Yes. Yes. It, it was God. Y'all yes, stay with me. I'm going yes, somewhere with this. Yes, it, it was God yes, that raised up David. Yes. And from the offspring of David, yes. Jesus was born. Yes. Yes, sir. Every now and then, we need to be reminded of what the Lord has already done for that, that was point number one. Reminding them what the Lord had already put point number two in Paul's message had, had to do with the story of Jesus. Uh -huh. yes, sir. Paul explained how Jesus was the fulfillment of all that God had done through Israel. Yeah. Yeah. He, he focused on two seminal events mm -hmm. in the life of Jesus. That was the death yes. and the resurrection. Yes. And, 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 and now the Gentiles, mm -hmm. because of the death and the resurrection, have been invited into the fellowship. Yes. In, in other words, the gospel of Jesus Christ mm -hmm. was first for the Jews. Yes. But now mm -hmm. it's to all who would believe. Yes. Yes. Where, where my Wednesday night? Revelation Bible study. If, if you've been following us, we done told you that salvation comes first through the Jews. Yes. But now it's to all yes, sir. who believe yes. and accept Jesus. Yes, uh, that, 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 that was the second point. Mm -hmm. Then the third point of the message had to do with the evidence of the scriptures provided. Uh, look, look at verses in the text when you have time. Verses 32 through 41. Paul shows from the Hebrew scriptures how all that he was preaching about had already been prophesied early. Mm -hmm. yes, he quotes from Isaiah yes, and the Psalms to offer evidence of what happened. Yes, sir. He quotes the text yes. to let them know about Jesus yes, and he talks about what Jesus is going to do yes, sir. that's a good three point yes, I, I would imagine when he got that third point he probably threw back and said y'all do remember yes, <laughs> that he died on the cross yes, yes, that, that's, that, that, that's a three point uh -huh. and, and that brings us to the text for today. You see, the sermon that Paul preached was so powerful mm -hmm. that it elicited an unusual response from the listener. Yes. Verse 42 says that as the people were leaving church, yes. they begged Paul yes. Yes. to yes. preach the same sermon yes. again on next Sunday. Yes. Yes. Can I keep it real? Yes, sir. Don't, don't change anything. Yes, sir. Don't make it a part one and a part two. Don't make it a series. Just preach the same word. Yes. You, 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 you preach today. Pre preach it again next thing. Yes, sir. And, and they went on to say, and we're going to make sure yes. that we come back next week. And we're going to hear again yes, what you have to say. Mm -hmm. Now, now uh, if I came up in here All right. <laughs> and preached this Sunday, All right. a certain truth for uncertain time. Yeah, yeah if, I, if I preached that today, uh, but we had that cell phones out. <laughs> their, their, their mind would be wherever they're going out in church. <laughs> and then the folk that write the checks and we ain't got pay him for the day because he beat that last <laughs> <laughs> Come on now. Be real. Be real. But but here's the people saying, ah, uh, preach. 
the same word. And not only are we going to come back. Uh -huh. Lord have mercy. Don't change nothing. Because we're going to bring some folk yeah. with us. That I mean, and I, as, I, as I closely, I, 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 I'm not going to hold you long, as, as I closely examine the text, mm -hmm. my, my homiletical homework mm -hmm. comes out. I got three points for you today. All right. All right. All right. Paul and Barnabas shared a sermon that the people said, preach that one. Again. And there are three things that permeate my mind as to why they wanted that sermon preached again. Can I tell you? Can I tell you? The first reason the people wanted to hear the sermon again was because it talked about cleansing from their past. Somebody say cleansing from our past. Cleansing from our past. Look, look at take verse 38 says. Let it be known to you that through Jesus Christ, forgiveness of sin yes. is proclaimed. In other words, there's cleansing from our past. Yes. Somebody going to shout yes, at me. Yes, I, I, I don't know about you, but whenever I come to church and I'm reminded that there's a method of clean, cleansing tied to salvation that is available and forgiveness of my sins yes. from what I've done in my past, yes. I'm going to say, I need to hear that again. You see, I'm like, oh, you saved, sanctified, Holy Ghost filled, five baptized, hand clapping, tongue talking, cross wearing, Bible told, hymn singing, foot stopping people at Mount Sinai. I still do some things wrong. That's gonna I don't need any legalistic message telling me about how I'm going to hell for sinning. I need a word that says in Christ there is forgiveness of sin and that offers me cleansing from my pain. I need to tell somebody here today that, that I'm not the only one the Lord offers cleansing. Right. In front of your pain. Yeah. Yeah. If you're here today feeling like you messed up mm -hmm. and you missed the mark, yes, sir. Uh, know that the Lord sent me here mm -hmm. to tell me you can start over. Yeah. Because He gives you cleansing. Yeah. From your, I don't care what you've done, Amen. the Lord offers cleansing. Yeah. From your pain. Yes. I, I wish I had a witness. Yes, sir. You can be a murderer like Moses, yes. but God can still use you. Yes. You can be a liar like Abraham, yes. but God can still use you. Yes. You can be a fugitive like Jonah, yes. but God can yes. still use you. Yes. You can be a coward and a betrayer like Peter, but God still uses you. Yes. You can be an adulterer like David, but God still uses you. Now, I'm not suggesting or telling you to go out and do those things for God to use you, but I'm just saying here, you do it. Just know that God offers cleansing from your sin. No, don't, don't, don't listen. Don't listen to the naysayers. Telling you you too messed up. Yeah. You ought to get yourself right. Yeah. Then come to church. If I could get myself right, I wouldn't come to church. Yeah. You know why? If I could get myself right, I wouldn't come to church. Because too many of y'all messed up in the church. Yeah. I get myself right. I don't want to be messed up with y'all anymore. Come on, talk about this. Yeah. 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 God offers cleansing from our past. And if God asks you, how, how do you know that you received cleansing from your past? Tell them where you read 
when John was exiled on the Isle of Patmos, right, that he said, if, if we confess our sins, yes. that God is yes. to forgive us yes. and to cleanse us yes. Yes. from all, not some of all, our unrighteousness. Yes. Can, can I help somebody? Yes, yes. Sir. When you receive cleansing from your past, and you ain't kind of folk who always want to dig up your past. Right. 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 Don't, don't get upset with them. Right. Don't give them a piece of your mind. Yeah. Instead, look them lovingly in the eye yeah. and tell them yeah. that they have a better memory <laughs> than God. Yeah. Because God remembers your sin. So, so if you still remembering what I did last year or the year before that or before I got saved then your memory is better than God because God ain't remembering them sins. Tell them, tell them love. Don't, don't confuse them. Tell them love. That they have better eyesight than God. Because when God looks at me God doesn't see sin. God sees forgiveness. He sees a new creation. And so people say Paul and Bible preach that same word again next Sunday. What? 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 You done heard it? You ain't gonna check it? Yeah, but we, we told you we're gonna bring some folk with us. You see, 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 I need you to preach that same word. Because I got a spouse at home who difficult to love, who need to hear this. I, I got a son at home that's out in the street doing everything he's big enough to do. And, 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 and he need to hear this word. I, I, I got a dog uh, who, who thinks that uh, she, she, she's anybody's possession. She need to hear this word. I got some co-workers on my job who need to hear it. Am I preaching to anyone? Who's not here today because you need to hear it. You've already heard it. But you know you got some folks that need to hear it. Regardless of what you have done, God will cleanse you from your past. That's a sermon worth it. That's point number one. Somebody say cleansing from my past. The, the second reason people want to hear the same sermon again, not only did it provide cleansing from their past, but secondly, it provides confidence in my presence. Somebody say confidence in my presence. Look, look at text. In verse 29, tells us that humankind had done all that it could to Jesus. Yes. Jesus was crucified, yes. placed in the grave. Verse 30 says, but God, but God raised Jesus up. Yes. When folk come to church, they ought to hear something. Yes, sir. About how God is able yes. to override the foolish things yes. that have been done in your life and that folk have done to you. Yes. That God is able to override every trap yes. that the enemy yes. puts in your way. Yes. Listen. Listen. My, 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 my granddaddy was a preacher pastor. My daddy was a preacher pastor. I had three other brothers, preacher pastor. One sister, preacher pastor. That's just an immediate thing. And uh, I used to hear my daddy when I was young. And daddy could start a sermon in Genesis. Talking about six days, God made everything. On the seventh day, he rested. And uh, he get ready to close down. He said, but one Friday afternoon, 
They hung him on the cross. He dropped his head in the locks of the shoulder and cried out at his finish. They buried him in a fiery tomb. But the good news is that he, he didn't stay in. And that is talking about God creating the earth in six days. And now he in the gospel put Jesus on the cross. Yes, sir. Put him in the grave. Yes, sir. But he didn't leave him there. Because he's gonna remind us that earlier. Come on, praise God. Somebody say her. Sunday morning. He got up. And, and, and what, what I didn't understand then, but I understand now, is that people, when they come to church and they're dealing with the issues of their life right now, they're dealing with everyday stuff right now. Some of y'all got some stuff going to hit you on, on your job tomorrow that you ain't anticipating. You need some hope that's there in the midst of what you're dealing with. Somebody say courage, courage for our pilgrimage. Right. Somebody say make it plain now. Yeah. What they're saying is uh, because, because of this word. Yes, mm -hmm. sir. Because it has cleansed my path. Yes, sir. It, it has it has given me confidence in my presence. Yes, sir. I got some courage for my pilgrimage. Yes, Can I bring that down? I don't know where I'm going. Yes, but I got courage. Yes, there may be some hate beside the highway. Yes, but I got courage. Yes, there may be some demons in the, in the ditch. Yes, but I got courage. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. 
There may be some werewolves along the way. But I got courage. And if you got courage, you, you can make it. Uh, you, you see, when you come to church uh, and, and you're reminded that you've already, through the word of God, got cleansing from your past yeah. and confidence in, in your present, yeah. you ought to have courage that says, courage gives me hope yes, sir. for my future. Yes, sir. And the reason that I got hope for my future is because I am standing on a solid rock. I'm standing on something that will not get away. And so if my pilgrimage causes me to have to climb a rough mountain, I got courage that's going to remind me that every mountain will make me down low. If my pilgrimage carries me through the valley, yes. I got enough courage to believe yes, that every valley yes, will be exalted. Yes, if my pilgrimage leads me to a sick bed, yes, I've got courage yes, yes, to believe that God is better than medicine. If I have a situation that I cannot solve, yes, sir. I still got courage. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Because I know that I've got a problem solved yes, on my side. Yes, and I just stop by my side to tell somebody that if I show You got points. 
And you just need to find somebody. Yes, sir. I challenge you to find somebody this week right. and preach to them. Yes, sir. You know, you, now, now, notice I didn't say preach at them. I said preach to them. Yes, and see what God will do. There may be somebody who's watching right now, who's with us right now. You've been trying to figure out how you're going to make it well. The reality is that sometimes the words might change, but the message does not change. And the message is that though your sins be as solid, the Lord can make them as clean as snow. That the Lord loves you in spite of whatever you may have done. The word is that if you confess yeah. with your mouth the Lord Jesus and believe in your heart yeah. that God raised Christ from the dead, you can be saved. Yeah. As the male court sing, let's stand together.